Hey, I'm Molly Crabapple, and I'm here with Jeff Peters, the Stephen Colbert of comics. On Comicology TV. When we come back from the break, our museum roundup, and we'll take a sneak peek behind this year's Christmas Day release when we spend 10 minutes with Will Eisner's The Spirit. The Christmas Spirit. <laughs> Welcome back. Will Eisner in 10 minutes? We'll have to pack a lifetime into it, several in fact. Eisner, go. In the mid-1930s, Will Eisner was there at the dawn of the comic book industry. When newspaper comics were collected as funny books, he redesigned his internationally syndicated Hawks of the Seas for the comic book format. When original comic stories appeared in 1938, rather than work for someone else, he opened his own publishing house, creating such characters as the Blackhawks, Dollman, and Sheena, Queen of the Jungle. Fiercely independent, Eisner surrounded himself with talented artisans whose passion was graphic storytelling. As comic book popularity exploded in 1939, newspapers noticed that their Sunday funny readers were dwindling, so Eisner was asked to create an original 16-page Sunday comic book insert to entice readers back. He created The Spirit, a mass vigilante who worked with, but just outside the law. Humor, adventure, and innovation were the hallmarks of the stories, which ran for 12 years. It's never been done again. Here's what they look like. Frank Miller is also a fiercely independent graphic storyteller and has now turned film director with his first solo feature, Will Eisner's The Spirit. Here's what Frank had to say about his approach to the film. Nicely done. <laughs> Thanks. The Spirit was the work of a very young artist at the dawn of comic books. And he took the most advanced technology of his time, which was a sheet of Bristol board and a sable brush and a bottle of ink, and created magic. I approached with, you forgive the term, the, the spirit of using the most advanced methods we could to translate his vision into, into a very modern movie. But it had to be as bold as, the, as the, the comic book was in the 1940s. And so for purists, it'll be a bit of a shock. But um, I, I think it's a hell of a ride. The remarkable cast includes Gabriel Macht as the spirit, Dan Loria as Commissioner Dolan, Paz Vega, Sarah Paulson, Scarlett Johansson as Silken Floss, Samuel L. Jackson as the villainous octopus, and Eva Mendez as Sans Serif. Here's Eva on the production. Um, no, and you hear Deborah talking, you guys, and this is the badass of badass female producers and male yeah. producers. <laughs> this woman cares so much about this project and everything, and she was right there. We all know how great Frank is and how amazing. Okay, we got you. <laughs> no, but really, we couldn't have done it without Deborah. You guys will see, when you fall in love with this film, that's the lady behind the man. And it's, it's pretty unbelievable. No better intro is needed for this week's artist interview. Oh, sure. Now you chime in after I've done all the heavy lifting. Roll it, Tom. We're talking with uh, executive producers Michael Uslin and Deborah Del Pret, who are producing the Spirit movie, which is coming out from uh, Lionsgate, uh -huh. and your company. Hotline Entertainment. Hotline Entertainment. And what exactly is Hotline Entertainment doing? Uh, you're the ones that are actually making the movie. Yeah, well, we're a production. We are a production company. You're a production we develop company. and produce movies. We actually make the film. Uh, a lot of times, companies like Lionsgate uh, distribute and market the film. Right. So my company is a, a film development company. We we work with the writers, develop the scripts, and then we actually make the movie from start to finish. <laughs> <laughs> you do all the hands-on work. Yes. <laughs> gotcha. And how did the Spirit property come about? I mean, he's a it, classic character in comic books, the character everyone points to, but very little is done with, has been done. Certainly, no major motion pictures. Well, Michael actually brought the property to me a number of years ago. Right. Which yeah. Um, Will Eisner actually called me one day uh -huh. and said, there's some interest in Hollywood in this spirit. He said, and I've been talking around and everyone said, you're the go-to guy in terms of trying to be respectful to the integrity of the comic books and their creators. He said, would you possibly have any interest in this? And I said something to the effect of, uh, 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 yeah. 
<laughs> and uh, we, soon met the <laughs> we soon met at the Harvard Club in New York, right. and 14 years ago, we had our conversation that we were going to go forward and make a spirit movie, but only if it was done well, done respectfully, done right. And I am so proud today that this is what we've done, and from the day I walked into Deborah's office, and she knew everything about the spirit and about Eisner. I knew that this was the match. This was the lady who was going to then take it and make it all happen. It's been a wonderful, wonderful experience. And then I was lucky enough to get to meet Will and be with him at his last Comic-Con. Oh, really? Yeah, and that was really great. Michael made sure that I got to meet him, and then I got to talk to Will about what was really important to him. What did he really care about? And the, and the interesting thing about Will is Will the wanted the, it. The core of the character. Yes, the exactly. The, and the he really wanted the, 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 the comic to be contemporary. He always wanted it to be contemporary. Right. And so he wanted it brought to date. But he also had a few things. And the most important thing to him was that the spirit would not use a gun. He never saw his spirit as a character who used a gun. But right. we made sure I became the fierce protector of the spirit <laughs> not using a gun. Because, you know, it felt like a real sacred trust. Like, Fashion Slugfest, it's just so oh, much fun. And we have so it. Because he's just a guy. <laughs> yeah, you know? see, that's it. No he's powers, just a no, guy. Just a and that's what's so appealing yeah. about him. What we all love about him is that, in a sense, and really truthfully, more than almost any other comic hero, you could be him. Anybody could be the spirit. Exactly. He's yeah. not. He's not the wealthy. He doesn't be born wealthy. No, like he's not that man with all that money. He's right? middle class, pure middle he class. He doesn't yep. have fabulous gadgets. Yep. Yep. He's got him, his fist, and he gets yep. a a lot. You know, he gets hurt, and that's what you know everybody gets in life. So he's somebody we relate to. And it might be violent. I mean, they might pummel the hell out of the spirit. Right. Um, but in the same sense, there's this sense of absurdity and humor to it that Frank has just captured so wonderfully Perfect. in the movie. You've gotten Frank Miller to direct the film. How did this come about? Yeah. Hey, now, did he write it and direct it? Or yeah, he wrote it and directed it. Wrote it and directed it. Yeah. How, how did this come well, about? We had often talked about it. You know, we were developing the movie. We had brought in some writers. We were working on the script. But there was always this thing about Frank out there in the ether. And we talked about it a few times. We weren't really certain that Frank would do somebody else's work. He was pretty known for working on his own material. But Michael and I discussed it. And then at Will's memorial, Michael approached Frank. He was he took the moment to seize the day and went to Frank and said, would you do this? And Frank said, no way. I can't touch the work of the master. I can't do that. And uh, 10 minutes later, he tapped me on the shoulder and said, I can't let anyone else do it. And my only response now for both of us is, what's 10 minutes in a person's yeah. life? <laughs> it's true. And you know, so at that point, I got to work, you know, Frank came in, and we started work, working on the script. He wrote a draft, and then we worked on it every day for months, and, That's you great. know, and then he directed the movie, and let me just say, did an extraordinary job. Yeah. Great. Well, Eisner had a great thing about 10 minutes in a person's life. Unfortunately, today we only get 10 minutes of your life. <laughs> so, we really nice. appreciate that you're coming. Visit, what's the website? Ah, it's My City Screams for me. Com. My, my city, city screams for me. For me. Com. A nice little short one. They couldn't do the spirit. <laughs> my city screams for me. It's Thank a you. pleasure it's great to, meet to meet you. Meet you. We hope to great be to in you. touch with you as the, as the film develops. To come back to you again and again. Thank you very much. Thank you. Michael Uslan and Deborah Del Pret from The Spirit. Eight minutes, 45 seconds. Uh, but who's counting? We'll head to the break with the teaser trailer for Will Eisner's The Spirit, directed by Frank Miller. Yeah. My city. I cannot deny her. My city screams. She is my mother. She is my lover. And I am her spirit. I'm on my way.
Man, we are so out of time. We have got to get an hour show. Until next week, see, see you in the, the funny, funny papers. papers. Well, you realize if if you're if you do something, it gives it the stamp of approval. Of it gives course. it the legitimacy. That's we were a nothing show until you agreed to appear on us. Now we're the next big hit. I know. American Idol is. They keep beating on my door, but I'm busy, guys. Later, you, you know, to they want to get please? some ratings, you know. <laughs> and poor Oprah, she's desperate. But I, I told her I'll get to her in time. I have other things. <laughs> no, it is fun.